As the countdown to this summer's Olympic Games in Rio continues apace, the South African women's squad is putting in the graft and has a ruthless program. They train three times a day, six days a week, but the intense program is already paying off. Kirsten McCann and Ursula Hobler took silver in the lightweight women's double skulls at the World Cup regatta in Lucerne, Switzerland. But they're hoping to do better in Rio. I've done a lot of other sports and I've found that rowing is by far the hardest thing I've ever done. It never gets easy. It's this relentless uh, thing that you always think, you know, maybe this, maybe this one will be easier, but it's not. So it's a toughness that you put on yourself. So yes, we have been, we have been relentless as well as the training. Now in Europe we got a silver medal, um, which was excellent for us, but more importantly we are nailing down our race strategy, which we, we uh, took a step closer towards, and so now we are working on that again to define our race strategy and our performance for um, Rio, and of course we are dreaming of gold, there's no doubt about it. A little bit more poise, running into front stops to emphasize the hands around the turn change of direction on the knees. We hope to line up on the start line having three things. To be in the best physical position that we can be, best physical state that we can be in, rowing the best technical rowing that we could ever dream of rowing, and mentally be in the best mental state. And those three tools will aid us to have the best possible race that we can execute. We can't focus on what other crews are doing. Um, but we can focus on what we are doing. So, I mean, the biggest thing is um, being able to represent your country to the highest level and make your country proud. I mean, it's an, I'm passionate about South Africa. And so to represent South Africa and put South Africa on the world stage and show everyone that we are the best country is obviously a dream for all of us. Women's pair Kate Kristovitz and Lee Ann Purse have also gotten a taste of how tough competition will be at the Rio Olympics. But they're looking forward to the Games and hoping to medal. Yeah, I think it is going to be a lot of fun. I think we've got a big team going, which is great. Compared to London, we only had two boats and now we have five. So with a lot of people around, I think it's going to be you know, an awesome experience to share it with everyone. I would love to stand on the podium. I think that is my ultimate dream. But... Um, yeah, I think I've just got to focus on the, on the training for the next two months and, and see if, um, if the result will, will come. I think it's going to be some of the toughest racing of my life and I'm really excited. Um, the previous races that we've had this year in Europe um, have been really tough, uh, but I think we learnt a lot and it's fun racing. This is why we train, you know, you, you're training for every inch and when the racing comes down to inches, that's, you know, it's the exciting stuff. Um, I think our biggest competition will be GB, uh, USA and New Zealand. Uh, they're definitely the, the top dogs there and then the Danish as well. It's been 12 years of getting to this point and uh, if we can medal it will be the greatest thing ever. I think I'll remember it till I die. The ladies squad know that they will encounter tough competition at the Rio Olympics but they're hoping that their hard work will bring back that medal success. Julie Shara, CCTV in Pretoria, South Africa.